I keep moving away from the mic? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I hope you're comfortable. I mean, I I think it's... it's Um, I'm just kidding. All right, we'll start the podcast. Mm. I think you just started with "What's up, everybody?" And then, that is how I started. And that's all I know. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 22 of the podcast. Today, uh, before we get into it, don't forget to check out our website www.bmsglass.com. We have a big drop coming up at Connoisseur Smoke, and then we have that fun sunday sale full of like you know super unique pieces i call them unicorns so be on the lookout for that Mm -hmm. today is a special episode um one of my favorite people ever uh my partner my wife cassandra is joining me today (laughs) we're just gonna hang out sesh relax um try to i'm gonna try and be a a little bit more uh i feel like i was somber last episode i feel like i was uh i mean i was positive but I feel it was just an episode of me, like, bashing myself or something. I'm not really sure. Oh, no. It was weird. Um, But today, we're going to try and just have some fun. I'm in a really good mood. If you can't tell, even though I'm the same monotone and face you normally see, (laughs) I'm excited. My parents just got into town. We haven't seen Mm -hmm. them yet because they're kind of hanging out for a few days and just they're trying to, like, get some rest before they come and deal with this crazy baby we got. So uh, we're excited to see our family um, because our daughter's birthday is coming up here in like a couple weeks. And unfortunately, a bunch of our family canceled their trip out for her birthday. But my parents drove across country and they made it out. They did. So we're in good mood today. We're excited. Um, We got a few different pieces on the table today. It's going to be a big day of smoking flour. We're we're definitely going to take some dabs through like the juggernaut and a honey jar recycler. But um, we're going to be smoking these tubes a bunch today, or at least take a few hits off each one and talk about the function and stuff behind them and the ideas of like prototyping and what I'm looking for, what I might want to change in the pieces and adjust because these are just ideas. These aren't finished products. These are just concepts and proof of concept. So (laughs) we're going to just play around with it and talk (laughs) about them and it should be a super fun day. So we're going to get into it now. There's the intro. (laughs) Mm. Intro done. Intro dud. We got a we got a like warning or a thing on our phone today saying it's mandatory masks now in Colorado. Mm-hmm. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, they wouldn't let us into the grocery store the other day without a mask, so we knew it was coming. Yeah, that be we wear them. I wear them when I'm out. It's just, but like the mandatory thing. So hopefully it hopefully it really helps. Hopefully this like slows it down because I really don't want Colorado to shut down again. I don't want to get too oh somber with it. I only brought it up because I was thinking today when I was getting breakfast and I had my mask on. Whenever I talk to other people with masks on, we're all wearing masks. Like people it's seem to be like so hard to talk. Wait, it, wait, 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 wait. It is hard to talk, but people seem to be like really emphasizing their intent more. Like because you can't see people's like micro expressions or the way their mouth moves or their cheeks move, which humans inherently pick up on that, and that's how we kind of see how someone's talking that way like in a text message when someone texts you you can't tell if they're mad happy or what you just take it with whatever there's no intent because yeah, sure. there's no like micro expressions mm-hmm. or anything mm-hmm. so with the masks on it's almost like everyone can't display their intent so they have to be really vocal like thank you so much and very <laughs> just very like you know they have to be extreme yeah. to display that intent and i'm wondering i'm like is this going to be like something that socially changes us because now like as humans like are one of our most primal things to knowing each other is seeing these micro expressions and the way our faces move and like all these little twitches and stuff is how we like read each other just like a dog reads another dog by its tail wagging or its ears up or down with all these masks on are we are we not seeing it's just like not seeing each other yeah it feels weird it feels like we're not able to communicate on the same level and i know it's a good thing it's like a positive thing like we need to do everything we can to slow down the spread of it's everything. Just it's, it's just different. It's just different. Like, I was just noting how, how much exaggerated people's, like, you know, how people are acting because, like, you can't see their face anymore, so they have to, like, really show their intent. It's weird. 
It's weird, and like I feel like I don't feel it that much because I fucking work in my garage all day. We don't go out at all. Like we've stayed really yeah, quarantined. Like we've social distance. We wear our masks. We're very conscious of everything. So we actually haven't been out. And recently, I've been getting breakfast sandwiches and shit, and like just standing in line places. Everyone has masks on. Only five people can be in the building at a time. All that stuff. It's a uh, makes you feel weird it makes you i feel like i'm living in like a giant text message like i don't know anyone's intent everyone's like a robot everyone has a mask on i don't i can't see if someone's smiling or happy Mm -hmm. it's weird but hey what are you gonna do that's what it is all right so let's talk about some bing bongs for a minute um just blew my smoke into the mic you hear that there you go guys oh my gosh so the other day i cut my hand pretty good which it's healed up now. It healed up so fast. I don't understand. Liquid bandage, spray and stuff. It's a miracle. Couldn't use it till like the second or third day though. Cause you kind of got to let everything close up naturally. And then you use that so you can keep your hand bending without it splitting open again. Information you probably didn't need to know, but there it is. So the first thing I did when I hurt my hand because I couldn't hand spin RBRs is I was like, I was having like that anxiety where I'm like, I got to work. I got to work. Cause it's like what I do. And I was like, well, here's a great chance to use my lathe. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make some some bongs. I want to make some flower tubes. So the last like, you know, few days I've just been practicing different things and trying it out and just really really enjoying smoking flower through like a bong style piece again. We've been getting really stoned. Oh, we've been getting so stoned. It's, it's so it's been funny. So fun it's though. So funny. Yeah, it's really fun like, for sure. I don't know. It's like when I was wasn't a glass blower when I was first like buying glass and well, that was cool, boys. <laughs> Smoking, um, you know, flower tubes and water pipes and stuff like that. I was, this was the stair I was drawing before I was a glass blower. I was like, if I'm ever a glass blower, I want to make this. Not these exact pieces, but like, it was essentially like water pipes and stuff is where my interest was in the beginning. It wasn't recyclers because there was no recyclers when I was first buying tubes. Like, no one had made one yet, I don't think. Um, but this is what I was into. So now, like, looking at these and being like, whoa, I'm starting to make all like what I was originally drawn all those years ago. It's like, I finally get into the point where now I'm making like some tubes too. I don't know. It's really cool. We've been really enjoying smoking them. Yeah. Been a good time. I've been enjoying that. You have the time to play on your lathes a little bit. I guess you didn't really have the time. You kind of just like accidentally got some time to do that. Yeah, Cause you hurt. couldn't make anything uh, on the bench, but yeah. So I'm pretty stoked to see you getting on the lathe and having some fun. Yeah, because honestly, the last like five months, I've, six months, I've just been staring at these like, machines that we've paid like all this money for, and I haven't mm-hmm. used them. Yeah. It was like making the biggest investment in my life and not even using it. It's but been, now you are. And now I am. It so, feels good. Starting to play around with it. Um, but like anything, you got to practice, 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 and put that time in. So before, like I'm really good on the lathe. Obviously, I got to put a lot of time in, but I'm pretty proud of myself what I've made so far. I've only made a few pieces on the lathe. And these tubes are a couple of them. Like, I've made less than 10 pieces on the lathe. They look these, great. These are two of them. I made this juggernaut on the lathe, which we'll smoke here in a little bit. It's a giant RBR. But it's really uh, cool having this new tool to play around with. Also, uh, made some bubble caps the other night on the lathe, and those came out really nice. I really like... Um, I just like making them on there better now, so I'm going to switch it up. Do we have, like, a way to show those off? I got them right here. Yeah. Got the caramel one. Oops. <clears throat> so we just have to be like in front right here. So I don't know if you guys would be able to see it, but it's a pretty perfect little bubble. And I really <laughs> like the like the stem on it, the handle and stuff with like that little flare and then the straight neck to a Maria. I just like the shaping on it. They're really classic. So I think we're going to be switching up the bubble caps to that because I like making them on the lathe better. Yeah, I'm just like excited to see like um, <coughs> all the new options and directions we can go with the lathe now so there's so yeah. many uh things to come no yeah I feel, it almost feels like when you like go to a new school or you move to a new place i feel like i have like all these Oops, new do. ideas and opportunities and just like so many new doors have been opened like just seeing these tubes sitting here i'm like fuck i made these this is so cool like I'm super stoked and just seeing my double diffuse perk being incorporated into like a flower style piece because originally that was what that was for the double diffuse was supposed to be more for flower so seeing it really put into a tube that we can just shred flour through is, um, it's really nice. It's only taken seven and a half years to get a double diffuse perk a into a flour tube. 
but that's kind of the thing with like not like giving up or not stopping. Like I um, this morning I looked on Facebook and I saw um, a thing that was like eight years ago and it was the picture of the uh, oh yeah I the saw truck that. with yeah, the trailer and like the excavator. So much has happened in eight years. So much has happened in eight <laughs> years, and to uh, to me right now I'm like oh eight years doesn't sound that long, but then you think about it, that's like two sets of high school. Do you guys remember how long high school was? I don't. I left in tenth grade because it was too long, <laughs> but. From what I hear, high school is the longest time in your life. And that's that's so only like, long. what, three, four years? Depending four years, four years, and it was whatever. like the worst. Who fucking knows? But high school was like the longest time in your life, and like eight years is like two high schools. So it was a long time ago. So a lot should have happened, even though it doesn't feel like that long yeah, ago. Yeah, it just goes by real fast. Time is fucked. <laughs> so weird. But yeah, I posted that this morning, and man, that was um, that day actually was a huge huge turning point even for glass that day i was loading up that excavator to go dig a, a big hole at an, oh at, gosh at, an, at another glass blower's um studio hmm. and um that was like my first time seeing pipe makers because i had seen glass blowing we had gone to corning and we like loved the glass museum and we used to watch like you know glass blowers there and stuff like that and we just renaissance fairs we were always into it but uh that was my first time seeing pipe makers but yeah so that that picture of me like loading up that excavator and everything that was like not only was that like eight years ago and before i really started my glass career but like it was a really big day that specific day so it's a that's it's so wild, wild it's to wild think to look about. back it's weird it's like i feel like like the last few days i've been trying to like look back and be proud of like what we've accomplished and Do how far we've this, come sir? yeah please let's keep on smoking it and how far we've come um, it's hard to appreciate it when you're in it. I think you have to make a conscious effort to be like, oh, I've done good. Like, how, look how hard I've worked. Look how far I've come. Because I think about the, like, two-car garage we used to live in and, like, just eating top ramen and just not having, like, not being able to do anything, just being broke and, like, feeling like a failure. And And then, you know, all I had to do was just smoke weed every day and make pipes and my life would have gotten better. I didn't realize that's what it all took. <laughs> That's you know? it. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's crazy. You know, because if you think you have to follow this path that you see that's kind of like um, laid out on TV or movies and stuff, and this whole glass blowing thing is so opposite of it. It's um, like I've said it before. I don't know if I've said it on the podcast, but I believe that glass blowing is one of the last true American dreams. I mean, you're essentially like, with, at least with us, we're just working in our garage, working with our hands, creating something out of nothing. We're literally manipulating material and fire using gravity to create an object that people use in their day-to-day -day smoking rituals. Like, you can make anything sound cool if you say it in weird ways like that, right? <laughs> That's you very can, you true. Can, you can make yeah. picking up dog shit sound like the most <laughs> philosophical, deep shit ever. But the facts are is that being able to support and take care of a family and share our life experience with people, that's all because of glass blowing. So yeah. the fact that that's been able to happen from making pipes and smoking weed, also obviously working hard 24-7. Yeah, 24 7. yeah. It's, just, it's not easy. We're lucky we get to do it. But that's a given, right? Anything worth doing, you got to work hard for. But there's some luck in there too, I feel like. I don't know. Oh, I need a sip of coffee. How are you guys doing today, though? Doing decent? I hope so. But uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you uh, you know load up those bongs, heat up your nail, pack a joint, whatever you got to do to get caught up with us and stick with us, hang out here. Um, we're in a minute here. We're going to be getting into actual smoking some rigs, but I just wanted to smoke a joint with my wife and get chatty I for a minute. I feel like I'm getting so sneezy from all the smoke. Like really? It, yeah, I don't know. It happens. It'll get your sinuses. Mm. I do not feel like that. Uh, I feel... Uh, my butt hurts a little bit because this chair is very hard. Oh my gosh, my back hurts so bad. Yeah, but let's not complain too much because <laughs> we got it good. Um, all right. But yeah, let's get into smoking some of these bombs. Let's smoke more weed. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, crazy to see how far we've come. And been sharing it the whole time on Instagram. A lot of people, like, you know, they'll they'll belittle your journey and how hard you've worked and how much you've accomplished by just saying, oh, that guy just did that or he just did this. But um, I feel like you don't do these things to make other people, like, appreciate you or be like, oh, look how good I did. It's like you do it to prove to yourself what you're capable of, and I think that's what we've done here. We've stuck with it. 
we've made the same design for years. Like I said to someone the other day, like I made the, uh, the bell recycler for like four or five years before anyone noticed or gave a fuck. Like, yeah, I mean the bell recycler has been around forever. I then... have videos of double diffused with doers in them from 2013. I want that yeah. one from your grandma. I want her I to know. send it to us so we can do a podcast with mm, it. That would be scary and to have her ship that. I know she, I'm not going to make her do that, but like, I would love to have that. Cause her grandmother has an old double diffuse from 2013 in one of her China cabinets. And like, oh, it's a collab though. It's, it's like a, collab a super one, yeah. old collab we did Between together. Me and you. Yeah. But it's just being able to see these pieces and being like, Hey, like I've been making this forever. Cause like I had someone the other day that was like, Oh, like I don't care who did what first. I'm not saying I did anything first, but I have been making this design for seven years. So like the other day someone was like, Oh, he just did this. And like, he just made it popular. I'm like, dude, I, it might have became popular because of me posting it a bunch, but like I've been doing the same thing for seven and a half years. Yeah, for sure. And people just started buying them and noticing them a couple <laughs> years ago. It took five years of not quitting and doing the same thing. Most mm-hmm. glass artists will get tired of doing the same thing after making 10 of them. And then they're like, I'm making a new project. I did the same thing for five plus years. So... I'm, I didn't do anything first because I'm not the first glass blower ever. I'm sure everything on this table has been made. Um, but I don't know who did what first. All I'm saying is that I put a lot of time in though. I didn't quit. I stuck with it. I believed in what I was doing. And that's my only point. I, if I had a point, I really, I mean, in the middle of that, I truly lost where I was going. And I, I felt my wife staring at me. And she I knew. feel slightly lost. With me? Uh, just like everything just everything the podcast honestly these podcasts are all over the place but we do it all right I'm i think i just like already smoked too much weed before the podcast oh me too i got <laughs> so baked this morning i tried to um i tried to do like my morning like igtv video or dad video or whatever just to like say hi to everyone and get ready for the day and i could not get the right temp i don't know if my nails broken or what could not get the right temp on my honey the jar. The nail is broken? I don't know if, like, <laughs> what's going on because I heat it up the same every time and I set the timer and I hit it at the same time on the timer every time. I could even hit it 10 seconds later if I want it to be a little lower temp. Like, I have the times dialed in on that. And not today. Today, nothing was working. <laughs> and, like, I was like, fine, fuck it. So I just heated it up and I just threw it on there 30 seconds before I should have because I was like, well, I keep putting it on when I'm supposed to and it's cold, so I guess I'll have to throw it in there a half a minute sooner. And it was very hot. <laughs> It was very hot and I got very stoned and then I had to do three of those dab videos and finally I was like, all of them suck. I'm just going to post a shitty one. Um, then I went and got breakfast for us and I bought too much breakfast Yeah. because um, I was too stoned. Yeah, so Evan bought I didn't, I went too to, much breakfast. I thought Cassie wanted something from Einstein's Bagels and I wanted uh, something from McDonald's. So I went to Einstein's and got her something, but then I remembered she was like, just grab me a McDonald's so it's faster. So I ended up buying Cassie two breakfasts. But what and it gonna, was not fast. What are you gonna? It was not fast. I was gone for at least thirty minutes. It was horrible. But what are you gonna do? It is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, hot dabs, combination of a few of those. Actually, two low temps and one hot dab. So really, the hot dabs only got me super stoned. The low temps were just a waste of hash because I was frustrated. Just I just Q-tipped the fucking oil. I didn't even smoke it. I was like, fuck, on to the next dab. We got to get this video. And then I smoked one of these bongs this morning. You smoked this one before I cleaned yeah. it. Yeah. Now it's all crispy clean. Looking yeah. fresh. Did you clean that slide? I didn't, but I got it right there. I, I, could, I, I just, they wouldn't have been able to see it anyways, even if it was like clean. Well, Evan made a really cool slide and I liked it a lot and wanted to show everybody, but. <laughs> and I blew it because I didn't clean <laughs> you didn't it. didn't clean it. <laughs> um, but I made this slide that essentially is like, it's got like the bowl. I put it in like a doer, like I do with the RBRs. You and can then, try to, does it, is it, it's really dirty. It's so dirty. Don't we already it. smoked it. We already smoked a lot. it. But, uh, <laughs> But yeah, I got this slide and I just, it's dirty as fuck because we love it and it works great. But I made it yesterday and uh, it's just really nice. It's like the bull push has a lot of airflow. It's, um, it almost hits like an ice pinch slide, but better. Cause basically what I did is I cut that bowl with like, I cut it like a perk. So it has a bunch of cuts around the base of it. So the air can flow through it. So it has multiple holes. So it's like a multi-hole slide. It's really nice. Um, those were our favorite kind of slides back in the day. Not like this specifically, but a slide with multi-holes. We never mm-hmm. liked a single hole slide back in the day when we smoked. We liked more airflow because we always liked burning our bowl like, like more a of like pizza. a square bottom, yeah. which is exactly how that is. Exactly how that yeah. is. Yeah. Well, that's what we used to like back in the day because we'd like to like burn our bowl like a pizza. So we all got greens, <laughs> Yeah. you know, because we were broke and we we're like, everyone's got to get greens has so, to be fair for everybody. Because if it's a single hole and it's like angled down to the bottom, it's like it heats up and then the whole bowl gets burnt underneath. And there might be greens on the top, the hole underneath burnt, burnt. 
But Unless you smoke with your dad and then... Then he just lights the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, like we'd pack like He's bowls. He's the worst and, person to smoke And we all had our it. little rituals, how we smoked. <laughs> and like, we all knew like, oh, we burn into pizza. We, we, we all get greens, even though there's four or five of us in the circle. And my dad walks up and I give him greens because he's the elder. Just takes the lighter, burns the whole bowl. <laughs> and then just hands it. He's like, there you go. And they're like, fuck. And like, we, you know, and then we all just have to smoke burnt weed. Because like, it's not like we're going to pack another bowl because we didn't have lots of weed. We were broke. Um, but then once we started growing, we had lots of weed. Mm-hmm. That was nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Another sip of coffee, and now we're finally going to smoke these bongs. You don't even need to, by the I'm way. I'm scared. I know you're so stoned already. Mm. Today, I'm working on some more connoisseur smoke stuff. I should have been done with this order by now, but like I said, cut my finger, and that put me behind. But what are you going to do? I'm not going to get all stressed out about it. I'm just going to stay focused, positive, and trying to keep having a good time. Yeah, you'll get it done. It's, I'll get it done. So I got about 10 pieces left, but I'll get it done. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it doesn't sound like a lot because you guys know me with the big drops and stuff. But but it's all colored pieces, yeah, so they a take a long time. Right, I'm trying to think, Mark. I'm just, we're just going to be is what it is with the mic on the sound of these, I think. Um, do you want me to like point mine this way? Would that make it better? No, I'll just move that one like that. Or we'll probably just keep it in the center, huh, Mark? Yeah. Thanks, bud. All right. Let's just move this guy over here for a second. Actually, do you want me to move out of your way? What? You can't really hear it from the Poppy episode either. Yeah, it's what it is. Uh, and then, Cassie, whenever you're talking, just make sure you're talking into the mic. Oh, I know. I can't, yeah. like, stop yeah. moving. Okay. It's a big deal, Cass. It's a huge deal. And if it doesn't change, you're out of here. That's okay. We're kicking you off the cast. I'm okay with that. I'm just joking. <laughs> I need you here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this pipe for a second before we smoke it. So essentially what the, let's get this mic actually close to me too. I'll do it right, guys. I'm being a noob right now too. Okay, before oh. we take a hit through this, let's just talk about it real quick, what we got going on here. So the perk is a reinforced... Um, 24 hole gridded shower head perk and when I say reinforced all that means is it's welded to the bottom It's welded in two places. It's a reinforced perk uh, then above it. We have a uh, I think this one is a this is actually a 20. No, that's a 16 Don't mind me. It's, I've never done a disc like this So this one's a 16 and then this one's a 12 hole disc above it This I did this one a little bit bigger So it fills kind of the shape of the beaker and then this one's a little smaller to fill the shape of this tubing I'd actually want these a little bit closer to the walls. Um, but like anything, it's prototyping. So we're trying different stuff and mm-hmm. we got to keep refining it. But my goal is actually to have these a little closer to the walls so the stack is even more effortless. And then above that in the top here, we have my first ever splash guard I did. I've never done one of those before. It was a really fun experiment. I'm going to keep playing with those. And I have an idea for a splash guard that will be able to drain without having some crazy looking drain on it because I still want it to look like a bong I don't want it to like I want to make a recycling tube as well that there's like three I want to make basically I want to make like the introductory one something like this guy right here which will be like the more affordable one more simple but still has the double diffuse perk and stuff and then I'd like to do one that's bigger than this um, that has more perks a splash guard all that and then I'd like to do a more technical one that has like a drain and whatnot. That way we have three different variations of the tube, just like with the RBRs you typically see in stores. We have the 10 millimeter micro, the standard, and the XL double diffused. So a little bit of variety for the flower smokers as well. Um, I've been only making oil rigs for fucking seven years and seven and a half years. So Yeah, pretty much. So to be like starting to get mm-hmm. into flower again is really fun. Like I want variety and I want, I have a lot of people out there that it's like, they're even sending me messages like, oh, I want to support you guys, but I don't, smoke hash like will recyclers be okay for flour and i'm like yeah but like why don't i have a flour piece for you flour smokers that's where we all started and i flo- i smoke flour every day yeah i smoke more flour than hash way more but i dab like all day every day too i guess i'm just doing both but i smoke a lot more flour just because i really enjoy just flour and coffee and just the whole act of smoking i like the more mellow highs sometimes that where i don't want to be like violently high and i want to just be more like mellow and chill i just smoke some flour all right, so we'll take a hit on this. Hopefully, I can do a good job. But there's no bad job when you're smoking weed and having fun, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think you can. As long as you get high, yeah, you exactly. did a good job. I'm a chatty Kathy today, huh? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to try and give you time to talk. I just feel like you're just like, <laughs> let me. Are we? Whoa, we're crushing. Okay, sick. Well, here we go. Let's this is like it. just like a normal day with you, though. 
you just talk a lot and I listen and then I tell you what to do and then you do it. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect relationship. <laughs> Such a fun hit. I'm gonna hit it again, but we're gonna talk about it a little bit more. <coughs> Man, I definitely see. I want these discs a little tighter. You can see how it stacks, but you can see right here. And when I pull on it, I'm gonna pull on it again right now after I talk about this. Right here, you'll see a little bit of the energy of the stack breaking. It's kind of like breaking and jumping too much right here. That means that this disc needs to be closer, and this one obviously should be Where closer. Where do you too. want it to break? Um, if there's a splash guard, I want it to break in there more. This splash guard isn't set up enough, so it's perfect for this tube. I'm just talking about my goal for the end piece, what I want it to feel like and do as far as function and visual too. I want it to actually stack and hit the splash guard and break through the splash guard. Oh, okay. So this one breaks so through So it's not it. going up high enough? It is with this one, but you can see the energy popping and losing a little bit right here. Okay. Um, this one... Honestly, you'd probably get water in your mouth if it was stacking any harder because it's just, you know, practice. We're learning the splash guard need to be a little different. But, um, yeah, you'll see. I'll pull on it. Maybe we can catch it on camera and maybe you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, Cass. I'll just pull on it and do a hit and then I'll just pull on it out so you can see both. It seems like it's going plenty high enough. Do you think so? Yeah, for sure. I mean... I don't think it could go any higher. You're probably right, but it's more of a feeling. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm not feeling what you want to feel. Like like the, a, you want more like restriction. Not even restriction. I just want more of like that feeling, like the volume of water. I feel like I'm, I'm feeling like a pop and a lack of energy in here that like I need to change. So that's something maybe you can't even see on camera. It's more of a feeling, mm -hmm. but that's the thing why we want to make a bunch, smoke them a bunch, yeah. and then figure out like what's going to make this a really special hit because i could just make a pipe and i could just put it out right now yeah but i want to make something that has that unique special hit like an rbr but that's simple and refined so i'm working on it and um a lot of people are giving me their ideas and i love it and that's kind of what i want to do with this is like you know like let's talk ideas what you would think like obviously this one like when i do the next ones the joints need to be lower there's so much that needs to be changed but the process has started which mm -hmm. means we will here in the near future have some flower tubes for people that are interested. And once the flower tubes come out and other products start coming out, you're going to see the RBRs be a little more limited. We're still going to be doing lots of drops them, but I make everything. So if I'm yeah. making a flower tube, unless we can find some help, if, unless I can find some help that someone's capable of making flower tube or something like, um, or at least making parts, mm -hmm. it's not gonna, it's just means there'll be less of other stuff, but at least there'll be more variety yeah um but yeah i'm really proud of these pieces overall like obviously there's tons to tweak and do better on but it's like first goes at making stuff like this pretty proud of myself um i they, think they look great and i really enjoy smoking it oh thanks yeah i really enjoy smoking it too i've been smoking so much flour through these but i've been actually smoking less flour because the joints because we pack such big joints yeah like i burn through like less flour i feel like I, I get very stoned through this oh i know piece. it's crazy <laughs> i think it's just it must just be like the volume of smoke you're getting just like with a dab it's just i don't like, understand it it just feels like that like old school bong hit from like high school yeah when you, you just, just get, get like, like really really yeah, stoned that's what i call violently high you're just it's not that you're like violent you're just terrified and you're at a point where like you the high is violently attacking you you're like oh my god what is happening so that's what i mean um but yeah i'm gonna take one more hit on this do you want to hit a fresh bowl on this or are you good for right now i'm good for right now okay coolio well i'm gonna keep on smoking and talking then what are your plans for today sandra what are you getting into um i'm gonna try to get the house looking decent before your parents come by tomorrow and then i'm gonna go pick up a stuff from school i don't really have oh and i have to email a bunch of people you are a busy lady oh we ash this out real quick um let me take this extra but i don't have to go to the gym today so that's good <coughs> hell yeah <laughs> it's awesome man i um i'm gonna be blowing glass i'm also looking for something to clean out my bowl um i'm gonna do that right now what do you want? Tell him a joke, hon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no jokes. I have no jokes. <laughs> do you want this up? What is it? It's the end of a Q-tip. Oh, that'll Ooh. work. I'll do it. I forgot that was there. That'll do. Thank you, Mark. Boom. 
The one thing I didn't come prepared with today, I didn't have my uh, poker to clean out the bowl. <laughs> Boom. We did it, though. All right, and then this smaller one right here was actually the first one I did. We're going to put that one up, and then we'll smoke both of them again, do some side-by-side We probably side should have stuff. done this one first. Hun, there is no rhyme or reason to the way I do things. And honestly, That's very true. my whole life, like, have you ever seen, like, you know what Captain Hindsight is? Have you ever seen that sketch? What show is that from? Is that South Park? No. South Park. I feel like that's my, like, every time I do something, I'm always just like, man, here's 10 other ways you could have done that better. It's so <laughs> weird. I'm like, just stop and think before you just start running and doing things. Like, perfect example is buying two breakfasts for you this morning. Yeah. Like, yeah. It is what we, it is, though. We all you have do our. that sort of thing a I'm lot. I'm a mess. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm a <laughs> I mess, though. I don't want two breakfasts, though. <laughs> like, that's the thing about the internet. You Like, most people, there's like, a filter that goes over their whole like social media where people think their life is like perfect or everything's going good for them and it's like are they good at everything i'm not good at a lot of things i'm That's good at not true. i'm good at a couple things i can work really hard mm -hmm. um i can i can i can overeat oh my um, gosh just kidding. stop <laughs> i'm joking i really don't overeat i don't eat that much i think it's the sleep schedule that really fucks my weight but um it'll get better We've been eating more vegetarian lately, and I'll tell you what, I've been losing weight and feeling great. Wow. There you go. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Um, but obviously, we still eat breakfast sandwiches and stuff. We're not vegetarian. We eat everything. But sometimes it's fun to just eat a vegetarian meal. Switch it up. Get some quinoa in you. Oh, some my greens. God. <laughs> this is what I do. Do you not watch my podcast? Um, do you, you're not caught up on What's <laughs> Up, Everybody? I talk to you, I feel like I talk to you enough every day where I don't need to watch Oh the my podcast. goodness, we have an imposter here, everybody. <laughs> she doesn't even like us. Okay, well, we have this one right here. I actually think I'm going to give this one to my dad. This is the first one I did, and um, it's just real simple. I just wanted to put a double diffuse perk in a tube, made it late at night, um, and it was just fun to just do something different. This was the night, the day I cut my hand, and later that night I made this. Oh. He's going to love it. And um, I really like just this part of the mouthpiece on this one which i think i'm going to keep working on it and refining it but mm. i like the way it feels and it almost feels like more an old than you like this one yep because this feels more like an old soda bottle I don't it know, does it feels like it, a glass yeah. soda bottle it feels cool there's almost like a nostalgia <laughs> when you put it up to your mouth the way it feels and if your eyes were closed and someone put it up to your mouth um man this could get perverted that real quick was um, odd yeah see i looked at your face because i knew you have a perverted mind um <laughs> But yeah, it's like that nostalgic feel of like an old soda bottle or something. And the way this, my dad has like some uh, pretty good arthritis. And so he needs a piece that he can really easily hang on to. And this mm -hmm. thing, like any tube out there, guys, you know, how they're just really easy to hold. People like them. And it's got, this one has this little, you know, you can put your finger through there, really hold it. But um, I think it'll be good for him. He can just rage one of these prototypes. Uh, I don't even know if I've smoked flour on this one. I think I've only taken dabs on this one. Really? Yeah. I'm going to take a hit, one hit of flour, and then we're going to take some dabs on recyclers because we're almost done here. This episode is getting really near the end. And Cassandra has said... Not much. And there we are. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for coming on today. Oh, my um, God. No, I'm just kidding. We're not, we're not done yet. All right. I've got to get, make sure my hand's not in the way again. we got to get some hemp wood, too. I feel like we have that. I think we have it too because we used to buy it by the fucking spool. Yeah. Fucking, fucking miles of that place. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you what though, this one's definitely not as smooth as that big one. I just took that head of flour and immediately want the big one again. Well, yeah, I kind of. I like yeah. this one for oil better. I'll tell you that right now. If the disc was a little tighter in this one, maybe. So but, the discs need to be bigger in both of them? I think so. And I think that. It's all preference, too. Some people want little to no water. They like their flour very minimally going through water. You know, it's all preference, but that's why I want to make a variety of these tubes. I want to have, like, two to three models. And um, Like the RBRs? Just like the RBRs. Oh, gosh. That sounds and like so many I things. need people to help me. If I have help... This and sounds skill, crazy. skilled people that believe, and we can do it as a team, and put ideas together, and create the most badass functional products for people who like. That sounds like a dream. I wish that 
that would happen. It's hard. It's hard because (laughs) everybody wants their own pile and it's tough. I think everyone can be successful together, but I think everyone has to hustle and make it. Want to be a part of it. Well, you have to basically not make money for years. Like you have to like hustle and just grind. And a lot of people, it just, it's not realistic to ask someone to do that unless they're passionate about the product and believe in what you're doing. I mean, obviously people get paid, but you know what I mean? It's like you work really hard and don't get paid as much as you would think. And people have to be willing to do that to achieve things. I'm not Mm -hmm. saying like work for nothing. I'm saying that you have to be willing to know that every time you're working on something, it doesn't mean you're going to get paid. You have to keep working at it though Mm -hmm. and keep moving forward. And that's the type of people I need to find so that they're here for the journey because it's not about making money quick. It's about building something big that, you know, Bear Mountain could be creates a living so for everyone. Yeah, it for could sure. Be. It could be. We'll mm-hmm. see what happens. All right, so that's some tubes. Honestly, next week we'll probably talk about tubes some more. Uh, but we're just starting. I'm going to leave that mood mat there. Move those out of the way for a second. Put the juggernaut here. Are you going to move those over there now? Yep. Oh, my gosh. What? What's up? Nothing. Boom. That one can just stay right there. And then I'll take this. All right. Boom. <laughs> so the Juggernaut makes this long neck Evan Shore, which this long neck Evan Shore <laughs> makes most rigs look funny because it's so long. I love this piece so much, though. I was carrying it around like a baby for like the first hour after Evan let me see it. <laughs> yeah, I brought it inside and she immediately took it from me and she's like, this is mine. And I'm like, it's yours. <laughs> you can have the Juggernaut if you'll take care of it. I don't even know it. what that means. Keep it watered. Juggernaut? Yeah. I mean, it means whatever you want, but, like, I think of, like, some... Why is it called that? I picture... Okay, well, there's, there's like, a super villain named Juggernaut, isn't there? And then also, too, yeah, like, just, yeah, big, whatever. I also picture this old tank from a video game I used to play. There was a specific tank you'd get called mm-hmm. the Juggernaut. It was, oh, like, yeah? this huge it was like, tank. It's, like, just, like, a big thing. Yeah, and it just reminds me of, like, this big tank of a fucking piece. Like, it's so heavy. Okay. The perk is the size of a wine glass. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty sweet. It's obnoxious. It's I the biggest it. troll piece you could bring to a sesh. <laughs> like, that's what I mean. Bring this to a sesh and be like... Be so fun. And be like, hey, man, do you got a gallon of distilled water? I need to fill my rig. And just like just and just and put it in the table. Even, honestly, this or the Titan would be huge troll pieces. It would make anyone uncomfortable to have their piece on the table near it. <laughs> because this will win if they both <laughs> clash. Because this thing is so huge and so thick. Um, I'm going to take a dab on it because I know our podcast is getting close to our... Close to the end, Cassandra. <laughs> yeah, at least another 10 minutes or so, but I got some dad's takes. We got to smoke the honey jar, too. Now I understand why you uh, don't usually smoke before the podcast. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to smoke before the podcast because it's hard to talk if you're too baked already. Because once you get so high, then you start overthinking everything. I just... I'm not overthinking anything. I'm just in my own world and tell me about that world uh, what do you think of what's it what I don't uh, even tell, know. tell me what it's like to be what's it like to do aerials like what's the feeling of climbing <laughs> an apparatus and flying through the air like what what's that feel like while i get high on this giant um pipe? i don't know i mean well, why I do feel, you love it i don't know because it's challenging and it's exciting when you're falling 20 feet from the sky and you're like dear god i hope i wrapped this right so i don't fall on my head <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm terrified that you do that i don't like that you do it but i'm proud of you that you do it but it but it's fun me. and i love it and i wish i could do it more you're gonna do it more because i'm gonna work hard and buy you an outdoor rig so you can fly <laughs> it's happening that would be real nice oh it's but happening lady especially if the gym's Close down again. Close I again will here. die. That means oh, I gotta God. get you a rig. I'll be really sad. It's happening. I'm not gonna sleep. We're gonna sell some rigs, and we're gonna get you a rig. Rigs on rigs. The rig we're talking about <laughs> for Cassandra is a big giant metal thing that she hooks like her silks and hoops to, and mm-hmm. flies through the air. It's like a circus fucking thing to practice on. Yeah, but I have all the parts. I have a mat now, and I have all my own apparatuses because everything's. You know, kind of changed where you have to have all your own stuff now. How'd Um, you get all that stuff? I I bought it. Good. That's why you work hard and you buy things. That's what you do. 
All right, so we're gonna smoke the Juggernaut here. This thing has a base that's about 160 millimeters. Up here, 75. Uh, this is 90 millimeters in this part of the drain. So she's obnoxious and big in every way, but somehow still moves water pretty effortlessly. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh yeah. It's so good. It's a super fun piece. And we got to chill while this nail cools down. So I'm going to scoop a dab off. You don't want to dab, right? You're good. You're, I mean. Or do, do you want to do one at the end? Is it we, the we, end? It's not the end yet. No. Yeah, I We're can do one We're just chilling. Like, there, it never has to end. We could just pay Mark for more hours. Like, it's just what it is. We just <laughs> sit here and stare at each other. And we can talk about, like, what we got to do inside. We got to clean something. Or, I mean, we. I say we, but Cassandra really does everything. I'm useless. I try though. I really do try, but and I'm and I'm and I have good intentions, but I'm just not good. I can't push my chair in. Um, if the toilet You're doing paper's, a great job. Toilet paper's gone. I forget to replace the roll. I just look at it. I'm like, I guess we're not using that today. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. This is not a comedy podcast. I shouldn't even try. Oh my god. Um. All right. So let's do it. Let's hope it's not hot. Today's been weird temp day. Oh god. For these. I don't want you to give me a hot dab. This is my dad. I know, but I'm just saying, don't oh, do it. Be spicy for sure. No. Oh no. God, oh, this cap sounds crazy. Do you hear that? Yeah. <coughs> I heard it. <coughs> I made this cap last night. It sounds crazy. So like a little fucking, How are you doing? Um, you know, I'm doing well. <sighs> doing really well. Did that taste good? Yeah, it didn't taste bad. Didn't taste bad. Didn't taste great either. I had a pretty nasty dab earlier that set a new level. A of new shitty, standard a, for yeah, like. New, so like now I can take dabs. <laughs> horrible like that, dabs. Like, that wasn't that bad compared to the last dab. Oh god. Ooh. Okay, so. Mm, <laughs> After researching, <coughs> the temp is back on point. I took that one too early. Looks like we're back. Uh, it waiting until like you a took minute. it too early. Oh, yeah, never mind. Was okay, warm. yeah. So it looks like we're back to waiting about a minute thirty-five with the blazer warm up. Actually, what was happening earlier? I was using a different torch to warm it up. It wasn't getting the nail hot enough, and uh, I think that's why the first couple were low temp, and then I got frustrated. I got it really hot, and then took a hot dab. It was. It was a mess. But yeah, do you, do you want to dab on this? Or do you want to smoke the honey jar recycler? Because you don't ever smoke honey jars. Maybe maybe the honey jar recycler. Yeah, that I'm sounds gonna, fun. I'm gonna smoke that next. So I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna dry pull on this a couple times. So you can see the you guys can see the function. We'll talk about it for a second. And then we'll get our last dabs on the honey jar, and uh, we'll end this episode hopefully on a positive note and get ready to start a good new week. Because yeah. this is Sunday for these folks. There's there's Friday for us. <laughs> good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Do you remember Tim and Eric, Cass? I do. So fucking stupid. Moving gallons of water. This thing literally moves gallons of water. I swear. If there was some way to measure how much water it's moving per minute through the drain, gallons, no yeah. doubt. So frothy, too. She is obnoxious. I love this piece so much. Someday when sesh is happening again, I'm definitely going to go to one and bring this with me and just, it'll just be such a goofy piece. Let everyone have fun. Yeah, I hope so. Those mouthpiece brands that make mouthpieces for pipes for people that are going to make so much money after the pandy. Oh, yeah. They're going to just if be it like. Ever ends. The pandy will end eventually. Ugh. It's just. Just we got there's a lot of people, a lot more people on the planet nowadays compared to the last Pandy. So I love gonna... that you have a nickname for it, Pandy. Yeah. You know, I try to. I'm not <laughs> trying to belittle how serious of a situation it is, but also too, I don't want to be the like Debbie Downer. And I hear a lot of people that I look up to that I find humorous say Pandy, and it makes me chuckle. So I say Pandy, not belittling the pan pan pandemic. pandemic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But it, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's smoke the honey jar. There you go, dear. I'll get you warmed up. Do you want to do a cold start so it's like just low temp no matter what? 
Okay. I'm scared now. Yeah, you should be. Honestly, I'm a mess today. I don't like I need to be that high. I at, would not be a dad. You know, this today. early in the morning. I say that every episode. I, on mic, too. Like, you can probably go back and make clips of me just going, oh, man, I'm, just, I'm too high. It's too early to be this high. Like, <laughs> it's, just, it's a mess. But I do it because I have fun. I love communicating with these guys and hanging out. For sure. I think gals. it's a great thing. Everybody can connect with you on a totally different level and really understand you and the brand and Definitely. everything that we stand for. And I think it's kind of cool, too. You're watching someone that doesn't know what they're doing really try to figure try it out. Try to figure it out. <laughs> and it's just... I mean, it's raw. It's it's what it is. All right, so let's get Cassie a little cold start on some terpy hash, some grease monkey. My hands are cramping. I need to drink more water. Do you want some hydrate? You know, awesome. not, not yet. I can't drink anything sweet right now. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm feeling like, you know, hey, I need to drink some water. You're going to throw up and die. That's how I feel. Would you like me to get you a glass of water? No, no, no. I like I like to feel like this just for a little bit while I'm smoking. And then I finally get water and it's very that rewarding. That makes so much sense. Oh, honey, I'm not here to make sense. If you, Like literally someone told me today, they made fun of the how I spell things. I read through the whole thing and I couldn't find the misspelled word. And I was like, yep. <laughs> I'm like, yep, yep, okay. I was like, is what it is. You know, now I, I just <laughs> ignore it at this point because I've tried correcting you so many times. Yeah. And you're just like don't care enough I don't to care. change it. I don't care. Because you know what? Or I'd rather not it. be perfect. I'd rather be good okay. at one thing and horrible at everything else because that's real. That's that's Okay. That's real. Okay. All right? Yeah. That's what it is. You don't uh, need to be perfect at everything. We can all be good at our own thing and then collectively as a group, get it, girl. Oh um <laughs> You just put it away from me. <laughs> Ooh. You know the honey jar works if Cassandra can get it to spin water. Because she's she's the foe to the recycler. <laughs> Anyone that has a recycler. Is that you done? No. I'll finish it for you. You don't have to smoke anymore. Not peer pressuring you. I got peer pressured a couple weeks ago and I hurt myself. <coughs> I fell on a scooter board late at night. <coughs> oh, you okay. Seen, you seen it. <coughs> yeah, I really was confused for it for a second. I think I confuse a lot of people. I think that's the people that don't like me. They're just confused. That's what I tell myself anyways. Like, you must be confused. You don't like me? <laughs> oh, ego much? I'm joking. Yeah, exactly. I talked about ego the whole last episode. It was horrible. But it, it's what it is. And then you see it right there. Exactly. Ego much. See how much this girl loves me? She checks me. Honestly, when we were younger, we would be places talking to people and I'd be like, Oh, I'm going to try and like talk to this cool person and try to get in with them. We'll do this. And she'd be standing next to me and I'd be like telling a story and she'd be like, that's not how it happened it was <laughs> in front of a whole group of people. And I'd be like, no, I'm like, no, <laughs> I hard. can't help it. It's just so natural. <laughs> yep. And that's just not how it, and that's how that is how it happened. It's yeah, that's, that's how, how it goes. But it's, it's, I love it. You know, then you just become super honest. And that's why people are like, man, you like check yourself so much. I'm like, because my woman does not <laughs> let me not check myself. I got to make sure that I'm not letting the ego get out of control because it's gross. And I agree. Yeah, it's not a good thing. I don't, I don't <sighs> like most people because of it. But you can. Everyone has ego, and you can use it in your way, in like some way. I don't know. Have, bring some humor into your life, or use it as a way to convert it to energy. Yeah. But it sucks when it kind of turns into something where you're like bringing other people down, which is no good. For sure. There's a little hair on that now. I see that. Get it. I got it. You did it. Yeah, but did I? I think so. <laughs> the oh, whispering into the mic, that was fun. <laughs> Someone's going to really like that. They're like, ooh, I like that too much. Then they're going to get into ASMR, and they're going to go into some weird rabbit hole just because they watch my podcast. Do you think that happened, Cass? I don't. No. Mm -mm. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about today. Oh, do you think this is base reality? Are you asking me that question? Yeah, I'm asking you that question. I don't understand. Um, like, do you think... I feel like I understand, but, like, explain so I make sure that I understand. Do you think this is the first time everything's happened? Do you think this is the first, this is base reality, or do you think this is a, 
I don't know, Evan. Like, or, I don't go okay. that deep into that shit. I don't either. Only yes, we- you do. Only weirdos no, do. No, you definitely do. <laughs> like, I don't listen to anything about I don't that either. shit. I, don't like, to it. I, don't I am in I my own world. I don't listen I to anyone's I don't opinions. <laughs> I don't, I'm not okay. involved in the, the world. Do you think that, uh, while this nail's pulling down, do you think if it was a simulation, do you think Elon Musk could possibly just be like, some crazy software or program that's getting ready to wake us up because we're getting closer to actually landing on Mars. And they're like, oh yeah, by 2025, we should have the first people on there, but actually we've been on a spaceship for That'd a long time. That'd be like a pretty like extravagant like sleep <sighs> dream well, yeah, we could, state. We, yeah, we could be in cryo and then our consciousness or in some sort of virtual reality to keep our humanity, you know, to make sure we I don't, don't know, crazy. it seems really I don't like know either. I think quite it's all bullshit. A stretch. I think it's all bullshit. Quite a stretch. I, I, it's definitely a stretch. <laughs> um, it's definitely a stretch. But I'm not educated on that topic, so I am so far from educated. I couldn't. So find I guess I word. can't really like talk to you much Stuff about it word. or like have an argument for you or choose sides. Okay, I'm not arguing or choosing sides. I just like to dabble in the you know like we're just playing in the idea you know mm-hmm. imagination realm. Okay. I no. don't. I don't think okay. that's what's going on. You don't think you on. think that you're the first. You think this is all the first time it's all happened. No. Well, I mean, I don't know. That could mean so many different things. You're right, and that's the amazing thing about words is that you can literally make anything sound like anything. I love that. All right. Well, let's do a dab. <laughs> We're almost out of dabs. We gotta get more hash soon. All right. We we got- make, I'm sure we can make that happen. I hope so. We were gifted a bunch, though, so we saved some money for, like, a week and a half. Yeah, that cool. was really awesome. All right, so we got a honey jar recycler right here. This is, like, where we're going to end the episode is on this piece. Um, I love these newer honey jar recyclers. They yeah, just, it was really nice. They just shred. I'm going to turn it this way for me, though, so that, that we can make sure it's... Did I get it to make, like, work right? You did, yeah. She shredded with you, honestly. Okay, let me make sure this is good. They work so well. Tarts. Yeah, those are nice. My nail's not broken anymore. <coughs> what? <coughs> the time is. <coughs> oh, you fixed it. That's good. Mhm. Oh my God, tarts. Well, everybody, <laughs> what an episode. We had a guest. We learned so much more about her. <laughs> incredible story. Uh, incredible feats. Um, wow. You motivated me today, my dear. Oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> hope you guys had fun. We'll do more of these. We're going to have a solo probably next week, and then we're going to have my dad on the week after that, <laughs> and we're going to get really high with him and talk about conspiracy theories and shit. Because all that shit I just said to you, he would have went off. Oh, I'm um, sure he would have. And I want you had lots to say You should say be here for. You should just be in the background. <laughs> Cuz I feel like you do have really good input, but you only want to give the input that you feel is the most important and good because you're very critical. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Yeah. It's what keeps our brand honest and good is you. So, thank you everybody. Don't forget to check out www.bmsglass.com. Okay, real quick, if you want another dab, we're only at yeah. If, if you, I want another dab. Yeah. Do you feel? Ooh. Do you feel that you're good? I you feel got, pretty stoked. She's got stuff to get day. done. She doesn't smoke as much as me, everybody, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, don't forget to check out www.bmsglass.com. Uh, Connoisseur Smoke Drop is coming up very soon. We have that big Sunday sale. I'm gonna take a flower rip. Whoa, Ooh. quality contr- quality test. Seems like, seems like it's strong. Good. We check that bowl's good. All right. And that's how you know. Oh, God. We have to put these in real-world situations, everybody. There's only one way to make sure these are going to work for you guys, and that's to put them in my hands and let me smoke them for a couple <laughs> months because I will figure out if they can handle it's it. It's a dangerous decision. Oh, yes, it is. And we will also be having a pre-sale coming up for tie-dye T-shirts with our friends Lively Vibes. Um, hopefully, we'll have that set up in the next couple weeks. And we also have some of these cool foundation mood mats left on the website as well. Oh, yeah. I can show you guys. 
We got this one right here. Let's turn it a little bit. And I'll go this way. Boom, I'm learning. <laughs> and that's BMS, RBR. It's pretty cool. This reminds me of old, like, toy machine stuff, like skateboarding shit. I don't know. Yeah, it's got pretty this sweet. this one, and then we have the big one that the tube is on right here as well. That's www.bmsclass.com. Take my flower rip, and hope you guys have a good week. I'm excited to do the... Oh, Jesus, I should be talking to this. I'm sorry, folks. Hope you guys <laughs> have a good week. I'm excited to I do this podcast with my dad coming up here. That should definitely be an entertaining episode. Podcast? No. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a good day.